Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Healthspan. There's been some news on E5 and Neil from Dr. Katch's company, Uvan Research. And so we will provide an update on these topics in this video. We'd like to thank NTZ Publishing for their newsletter, where a lot of this information came from, but also Dr. Josh Mitteldorf for his blog, Aging Matters. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing an update that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. First, an update from the Lifespan study. We have covered the background to the study in previous videos. You can find the link above. Very briefly, E5 is a component derived from young blood, which was shown to reduce the epigenetic age of rats by 50% in a 2020 experiment. The current experiment is to see how long the lifespan of rats can be extended if they are treated with E5 every 90 days. The experiment started in February 2021 when the rats were 25 months old. Therefore, any animal still alive will now be 41 months old. The typical maximum life expectancy for a lab rat is 36 months. There were 16 female sprague dory rats in total eight in the treated group, and eight controls. This is the update from the 17th of June. All the control rats have died, and the three treated rats are still alive. The rats are frozen after they have died for later analysis, as the cause of death was not always clear. Dr. Josh Mitteldorf performed a statistical analysis of the data that is available so far, which he wrote up on his Aging Matters blog. Here is his executive summary. The headline looks good. At any time, the treated rats are four times less likely to die. But that only translated into a 7% increase in life expectancy. This is not as much as the methylation age would have predicted. One thing that was seen was that the treated rats tended to die closer together, pointing to compressed morbidity, which is a good thing. Some caveats, all the rats in the original experiment are male. This second cohort are all female. The epigenetic age improvement in the 2020 study was more than 50%. Dr. Ketcher mentioned that for this group, it was 15 to 20%. The protocol was also started later. The original experiment used 20-month-old rats, whereas in this study, they were 25 months old before the first treatment. One other thing is that three of the treated rats are still alive. How old they are when they die will impact the final results. Dr. Katcher tried E5 on his right hand, and you can see in this image, there is a noticeable improvement, at least in appearance. The plan is that based on this, they will start a trial in July or August with volunteers of around Dr. Katcher's age. They believe that topical application will not require FDA approval, making the process of getting started much simpler but this needs to be verified by their regulatory attorney. If the trial does go forward, Akshay Sangavi, CEO of Uvan Research, says that they will set up manufacturing of E5 in the US. And finally, the Neil human trial. Not much to report here, except that the trial has started. I would like to thank the sources I used in making this video. The NTZ newsletter which you can sign up for at www.ntzplural.com slash newsletter. Josh Mitteldorf's Aging Matters blog at joshmitteldorf.scienceblog.com. The Neil homepage at www.neil.bio and Yuvan Research YouTube channel. That's all for now. Speak to you again soon.